In China, seven people are dead and 24 are infected with a strain of bird flu. The outbreak has U.S. health officials on high alert this morning. With us now, Dr. William Schaffner of Vanderbilt University. He's the past president of the National Foundation for Infectious Diseases. Doctor, good morning. Uh, how concerned are you about this outbreak and that we see the death numbers continue to rise? Well, hello, Nora. Good to be with you. Yes, we're all got our eye on this outbreak of bird flu in China. And we want to make sure that it doesn't start to spread rapidly among people. And of course, that's the big issue. If it did, it could have the potential of sweeping around the world and making millions of people sick. It cannot spread uh, readily among people at the present time, fortunately. Now, why is that? Because it hasn't gone from jump from people to people? Uh, exactly. It doesn't have the genetic capacity to spread readily from person to person, Charlie, but the virus can acquire that capacity. And so we're watching it very carefully, and we've also started to make the first steps toward developing a vaccine, should it be necessary. That's my question. How long will it take to develop that vaccine if it's necessary? Yeah, if it's necessary, it could take a couple of months, but the first steps have already been taken. That that gets us off the ground very quickly. And, and doctor, what about travelers who are traveling to China, traveling to Asia? Should, be, should they be concerned? What precautions should they take? Well, they should take the usual hygienic precautions. Uh, and we are all alert, should a traveler come back from that part of the country and fall ill to get the appropriate specimens and send them off to our state health departments and to the CDC for careful testing. Dr. William Schaffner, as always, good to see you. My pleasure.